Good morning. Marshawn and I just left Osprey Point RV Resort in Oregon, where we camped with our friends Linda and Lori last night. We made it about 10 miles. At a Veterans Memorial right now. I think I might sketch this bridge. This is the Condi B. McCullough Memorial Bridge heading into Coos Bay, Oregon. This is my first sketchbook sketch of a bridge. So this is where I'm at with the initial black and white sketch. And it's time to start adding some colors now. All right, so after about an hour of working on this sketch of the bridge and causeway, I want to let it dry and see what I think when I'm out of this really bright sunlight. When I got here this morning, it was still pretty overcast, so I tried to keep some of that same look, even though the sun is coming out right now. It was so windy here when I was painting that I actually ended up running back to the van and getting some of my blue painter's tape, and I taped down the corners of my pages so that um, they, they wouldn't flop in the wind so much. Time to get back on the road. Got some horse traffic up ahead. Marshawn and I are headed towards Cape Blanco on the Oregon coast near Port Orford. It's still pretty windy out, so I think I may be sketching from inside the car. There's the ocean. Shot at the ocean. Da, 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 da. We're gonna beat the ocean soon. We're gonna beat the ocean. Let's pull off here. This seems to be what we want. here. Marshawn and I are at the Cape Blanco Lighthouse in Oregon. <coughs> Babe, sometimes there's other dogs. The lighthouse was constructed in 1869 and began operating on December 20th, 1870. It's the oldest continually operating lighthouse in Oregon and was home to Oregon's first woman keeper, Mabel Bretherton, who signed on in March of 1903. For this sketching trip, I've been working in a Strathmore watercolor journal, and unfortunately, I'm not very happy with the paper quality. I picked up this sketchbook at Hobby Lobby on clearance, which might explain a lot. Um, I was hoping that I would be able to get some finer details and some darker values, especially in my rocks and in my foreground, but it seems like the paper just wants to absorb that paint and my fine lines get lost and my darks just turn into mid-tones. I'm using St. Petersburg watercolors. I have a 24 full pan palette and I also use a variety of tube watercolors. I'm not really a brand junkie when it comes to my tube paints. Today I've been using Dick Blick brand Indigo and Davies Gray along with Holbein Hooker's Green, uh, Soho brand Sap Green, that one I actually got as a freebie with a Jerry's Artorama order, and I really love the color so much that I've ordered it four or five times since then. Um, and then lastly, a Van Gogh Olive Green. Here's where I'm going to take a little pause. I'm going to let it dry and go explore that lighthouse. We arrived just a little bit too late to take a tour of the lighthouse, so we just admired it from afar and took advantage of some of the coastal trails. Another cool view of the lighthouse. Got my painting drying on the dash. Got this blanket up to keep the sun out. Okay, I thought I was done, but then I went back in with a black permanent marker and added just some outlines around the, mainly the foreground hills 
and the middle ground hills and some lines in the water. I'm trying not to overwork it, so I'm going to stop here. Although now that I look at it, I kind of want to go back in with gouache. We'll see what happens. I might change this one up just a little bit more, but it's probably done. Okay, it's like five seconds later and I gouached over some of those lines that I didn't like and now I feel like I can officially call this sketch complete. Okay, it's like five seconds later again and I added just a little more gouache over some of the ground areas, the extreme foreground, and now I am done. It's great, Marshawn. Can you even believe that this is where Marshawn and I get to camp tonight? Private beach! Zero dollars. I'm at the Elk River National Forest and it is perfectly legal to camp in national forests for free. Thanks for watching everyone! See you soon!